job is yeah my job is to guide my customers through uh, their own lives so that they can understand and learn to be able to clear their path of the obstacles that have stood in their way um, in so many ways, but especially in business. So I talk to people about uh, their thinking, which is generally referred to as mindset. Um, and then I teach people the business skills the selling skills that they need to be able to drive it covers a, a, a large field but i've basically been in business for over 40 years so i i have been where everybody is experiencing so i have been in the very very black depth of despair even getting to the point where, to be perfectly honest, it, I didn't see any value in my life. And uh, to be honest, suicide was an option for me at that time. But I'm pig-headed and I'm determined. So I didn't give in to that. And I dis decided that it was time to change my life, to make changes. And the changes I made during, during my life to get me to the life I'm enjoying now really are what my courses are all about. I'm just simply ex sharing my experiences. I know it works because it worked for me. Otherwise, I'd be laying dead somewhere in a cold, on a cold slab. And so trust me, uh, you can from anywhere you are, turn your life around into something amazing. And the fact that you guys are here learning a new language says to me that you have the necessary drive to take control of your life and to make it what you want it to be. And that's the key, is that you decide what's going to happen in your life, not your circumstances, not other people, you decide. Um, most people let other people decide, let circumstances decide. Winners, no, no, winners, winners choose their own path. You're doing it here now, right? It doesn't matter whether you come into a job rather than starting a business, you are taking control of your life. You're deciding, I want to learn English and I want to change my circumstances. So, Congratulations to you, because you're doing what what you need to do to change. <clears throat> Congratulations from me. Is that enough of? Uh... Uh, yeah, yeah, that was enough. That was enough. That was more than enough. Um, okay, Mr. Keith, um, there are learners who are just. Uh, there are a few learners who have just started. Uh, learning now and there are some students who have been learning for five years for four years for three years but they still didn't see any changes maybe i don't know what stops them to speak what actually holds them what what causes them not to to speak but uh, they don't speak actually what's the matter what what's, uh, the, well, what's the point they right. don't start speaking there is sorry uh, uh... I thought I'd closed down Messenger. Somebody was calling me. Um, right. The, the key is um, the foundation of how you think, right? Um, at the moment, the simple answer is their confidence is low. Their self-esteem is low. Um, and as a result of that, they are, oh, let's use the right word, they're scared to stand up and talk, okay? to be seen in case they don't do it right, in case they feel people will think they're bad or they failed. Well, let's put it this way. I have failed far more times than any one of you. And part failure is actually a part of learning. And so what you do is you learn from your mistakes you understand your fear. 
And how do you understand your fear? Well, it's very simple. You look back on your life and you find out the events that have affected you to cause this fear. Then what you do is you understand exactly what happened and find out what did you do that you uh, that caused this to happen because it it simply is that we make decisions which causes these things it's not necessarily that um you did it on purpose or or you did it knowingly or even it's sometimes we make decisions which put us in a place that allows these things to happen once you know what's happened, you can acknowledge the facts and what you, dis you, you did. Then you do number two, which is you accept the responsibility for what happened, because we are all responsible for our own lives. And the third thing, that lets, allows you to let go of baggage. Now, I don't know if you understand what I mean by baggage. By baggage, I mean those things in your life that you're basically dragging your along. You keep looking backwards, okay? Um, and that is baggage. It slows you down. It stops you from achieving what you want to achieve. And what you've got to do is forgive yourself. You've just got to forgive yourself and forgive anybody who was involved. You know, I had a very bad marriage. It took me years to forgive her. I mean, seriously, years. Um, and when I did, I was able to move forward and upward. When you can forgive, and I mean truly forgive, and it's not a matter of just whispering it in your own ear. I mean, you say it out loud so that you know you mean it. I forgive my ex-wife for everything she did and everything I did to cause the marriage to fail. Now that allows you to leave behind those bad uh, experiences in your life. It doesn't solve everything. You still have to address the things you're doing wrong. You're allowing procrastination, you know, delaying doing what you should be doing when you should be doing it so you need to address these things then you can actually make real progress uh, and i mean that's just a brief uh explanation of what goes on it's more complex uh in reality to do it and it's very painful emotionally painful to do it but you can do it right and what comes from that what results will you see? Well, you will start to stop doubting yourself. You will start to like who you are. You will start to take action, whereas before you sat back. So the key is finding out what's holding you back, what caused it, acknowledge, accept, forgive, then take action. Right. Well, nothing changes until you take action and you're all here proving you can change your life by taking action. Congratulations. Um, deep, sometimes, uh, you know, learners, they don't identify what are the weaknesses they are having. They just keep complaining about this thing or uh, that thing. I, I, I cannot speak. This is the issue. That's the issue. Um, I'm facing this or that. They're not just write down the weaknesses they are having and they are facing covenant. Once they, I think, um, once they um, list, oh, make a list of all those things which make them, you know, uh, trouble in speaking or uh, in their lives, they, you know, uh, one by one solve this. But they can easily do it. Yes, okay. they can. Yes, they can. And uh, lists are very good so long as you approach them in the right way. The purpose of a list is positive. But if you look at it and say, and have negative thing, thought.
no, no, no. If you tell yourself you can't do it, guess what? Yourself, is that what's been holding me back? Well, I'm going to get past that and I'm going to do it. Then you can. Simple. So believe in yourself, leave your doubts behind, away, uh, uh, drive it away and just do it. Because the only way you are going to get past fear of speaking is uh, speaking. You have to speak. Simple as that. So if you were my students, guess what? I don't give you any choice. Right? I would just simply say, you either speak or I say goodbye. Because that's the only way you can, can move forward. Simple. Okay. Um, I, I... Go on. Yeah, sorry. Keith, I'm, I'm saying that I, there are students, they want to ask you something. So uh, okay. I yeah, want uh, all of them to speak because it's an open conversation class. Um, so Mr. Who's that, is, that, to say? is that Husava? Is that pronounced right? Yeah. I, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. It amazed me that I managed to get it right. How can I help you? Sir, you said that uh, just forget it. How can we forget uh, the thing that ruin our life? Ah, yes. Good, good point. The, word, the phrase forget it is means <clears throat> don't keep looking back at it. Don't live your life looking backwards. Because that, guess which way you could travel if you look backwards. You travel sir, am, backwards. Sir, I am suffering from a tragedy because of this. I am saying this because some uh, some people do bully me. So I become a patient of a bipolar illness. Do you know okay. about what, what is I, what is I know, I know what bipolar. is bipolar? I know bipolar. Yes. Right. Well, I am suffering from bipolar. Yeah. Well, yes, bipolar yes. polar is a is a serious medical condition. Now, the one thing I will say is I am not a doctor. I cannot give you advice on bipolar. I can only give you an advice in how you handle bipolar with your medical advice. And again, it is Sir, all so how about, can you forget that tragedy? Sir, so how? How can you forget it? By not looking at it all the time. Do, 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 you know, when we're, when we're going through life, um, we can either see good things. Now, let's say somebody in your family had died, as an example, right? You can mourn them. You can weep that they, they've uh, died. You can do, be desperate about losing your family, your friends, or whatever it is. Or you can say and think about the wonderful times you had with that person. And it's the smile that is then within you, not the tears, right? That is how yeah. you get past. And you, you remember that person with the good things. Then it no longer becomes a pain. It is a joy. Okay. Positive and negative. Always think of how you can look at something in a different way. You are still don't want them to have gone but your memory is about when they were here. Okay. Okay, Zeba, you. I would say you. you, I would say you that um, try to make yourself so much busy that you don't have time to think about him or her, whoever that person is. Do you understand? Yeah. Actually, it's... we have lots of free time. We are free to do everything. We are, but we, you know, make ourselves so much free to think things that disturbs us. And, you know, uh, I hope you have, you know, the uh, phrase, empty mind is devil's home. Yes. So whenever your yes. oh, mind is empty, whenever you're free and you don't have anything to do. So. I often empty, get asked. I get your mind and it drives you crazy. Yeah, right. I often Anybody get else? asked if I'm busy, and um, the answer is I'm always doing something, right? My mind is free to wander about the things I am focusing on. It doesn't wander to things I'm not, uh, don't want to think about, and that's the key to what you've got to do. Think about the things you're doing or need to do. 
not other things. Okay, anybody else would like to ask questions to Mr. Pete? He's here. Uh, he's going to help you with your learning, with your speaking, with your everything, whatever you say, what, what kind of problems you have. Anybody else would like to ask something? Or I might choose you. Okay. Uh, um, bush laugh. Yeah. Unmute. Wonderful. Uh, hello, Unmute. Mr. Geet. Yeah. Hope you are good. Welcome. Hello. Welcome. Okay. Okay, being a teacher, as you said, that uh, we should forget everything, we should forget the mistakes. Uh, we know what should we do to learn a language and any a foreign language or any a second language. But the teachers doesn't tell us what should we not do? What are the things which we make the mistakes and what should we not do to be successful in learning a language? We well, know I what should we do. Okay, but yeah. we don't know what should not we do. Yeah, well, Bush, Bush, I think I mentioned something along those lines already. The, the key when you're uh, uh, wanting to achieve anything, whether it's learning a language, uh, riding a bicycle or whatever, is the belief that you can do it. If you believe you can do it, then guess what? You can. And that's the point you've got to truly believe that. And so you've got to believe in yourself first and then your success second. And the way you get to believe in yourself is by understanding your journey and loving who you have become. Because all the bad things in your life have made you who you are as well as the good things. So if you didn't experience that bad thing, you probably wouldn't be here today to be able to ask me that question. You'd be somewhere else. So think of your life, not negatively, but think of it. This is who my life that made me now who I am. And I like who I am. I love who I am. So when you love who you are, you believe in yourself and you can believe in your success. And trust me, you can do literally anything you truly believe absolutely anything it does that help you Bushra? yeah that is thank you my pleasure anybody else would like to ask something but uh, um you know uh, talking to mr t about generating lots of questions lots of thoughts in my mind uh, i would like to ask questions but i would like to give you the chance to speak um because i want my learners i want my friends and you know uh, Near to me, close to me, to talk to Mr. Keith here. Come on, be brave. What, you, uh, what actually troubles you? You can ask anything. Okay, may I ask? Yeah, you can ask. You okay, can ask Mr. Keith, is it your uh, first language, the native language, or you learned it uh, as a second language? No, it's what my first. Did you learn any foreign language except English? Well, I, I this is my first language. I am I'm an English man, uh, born and bred in England. Although I have lived abroad um, on two or three occasions, um, I am not good at learning languages because I keep telling myself I'm not good. Uh, but I do learn minimal amounts. And I know bits of French, bits of German, bits of Thai, and so forth. I can, uh, bits of Russian, and or I can even speak American, because um, theirs is a different form of English. Um, so yeah, I you can do it. You can do it. It's um, it's just a belief in in it. And from my point of view, yeah, I, I learn what I need to learn when I'm there. Um, the first overseas was in Germany. Uh, Dad was in the Royal Air Force. So I was a wee, wee, wee youngster. And we lived on station where everybody spoke English. So I didn't need to learn German, although I know a little bit of German, yes. Uh, so, danke schön. Okay, that's fantastic. Uh, while learning those languages, as you said, French, Spanish, and German, uh, what were the problems did you face? 
Um, it's finding somebody to talk with in that language. That's where you, uh, that's the only way you can learn because uh, in, a, in a classroom that teaches it. It's not learning. Learning is when you actually can live that language. When you can think in English, you're learning English. When you can think in German, think in Spanish, think in Thai, you're learning that language. So that is your objective, is to think in English, and then you know you are actually learning to speak. It's not just about using words. You actually have to understand what you are doing, and that's when you can think about it. Okay, is it okay to learn? Bush, Bush, let, let have, uh, um, have a go now. Okay. Or there, if you Hello, don't mind. Mr. Kate. Hello, Elisa. It is really great to hear you. How you have motivated us is appreciable. Looking to My learn friend. ahead more in future. Sorry, say that again. I missed it. Can you repeat again? It is great to hear you. How you have motivated us is appreciable. Looking to learn ahead more in future. Wonderful. The, you, the key to it is find people to talk to. So make, make friends on Facebook with English speaking people and talk yeah. to them and talk to them. Right. Make certain they're nice people first. Um, because as we all know, online, you can't always get a nice person to, to, friend, uh, to be friends with. So you check that first. But yes, very simply, talk to people. So if you, if you let your teacher do all the work, you will never properly learn English. If you don't go out and take action to learn in real life, that's where you're real learning. I tell my students that whatever I teach them is absolutely useless to them unless they take action with it, they implement it. And the only way you can imp implement something so it, you don't have to think about it is repetition, repetition, repetition. So you've got to do it again and again and again and again. Then you learn it. Sure, sir. Will you consider your suggestion? Will I consider my what, sorry? Um, okay, anybody else would like to ask something? Uh, Bushra, you were asking something. What's that? Uh, yeah, as he, as he said that uh, for learning a language, you must have someone to speak with. But in our academies, in our institutions, we learn with a new learner. He or she is having the same vocabulary. He's, uh, uh, you know, the same grammar or the same rules. We are learning together and we are speaking the same language. So is it okay to learn with them? We, we will have the same pronunciation. Uh, uh, we have conversation class, but we don't have anyone to tell us mistakes that you are speaking it wrong, your pronunciation mistake. Uh, me, you know, there is no one to tell us. Right. We well, learn yeah. with new learners. Okay. Now, that is, that is education. That's not what I was talking about. To learn something, you have to use it in real life. So... As I said to uh, uh, to Elisa, you need to find friends that you can talk to in English, and I don't mean from the your your culture, right? Because when you're talking to me, you can hear how I pronounce correctly. Okay, when you're talking to a fellow from uh, Pakistan, they will have the same accent. You know, obviously, you've got regional parts within your country as well. But to me, you all you sound a similar accent. Um, well, if I was spending a lot more time with you, I would see differences. But at this in this short period, I don't. But then what you're going to happen is that those um, types of differences that you find that, that, that difference that you find in Pakistan that you don't find in England will remain and you won't get to speak as clearly as other people. I have um, friends 
who are also, uh, you know, some Pakistan from India and so forth, all over the subcontinent. Um, some still have the the differences, you know. Have I, I can still hear their country in their English. Others, I wouldn't know that they've never been to England, never lived in England, because they're the way they talk and the way they pronounce, perfect. Okay. And that's because they have surrounded themselves with friends who are also native English speakers. And that is the, the best way to improve. Teacher here will give you the basics, the knowledge on, on the words, the grammar, etc. But it's only when you go out into the world will you actually be able to think in English. And that's the key. Okay. Um, there are other people they want to ask, but you know, this is the time you have the person from UK, Mr. Keith, here to help you. Now, if not, you speak now, then when would you speak? It's the girls who are bravest. Come on, fellas, you know, one fella, two girls. Let's, let's get some this is the um... time to speak. You can ask anything and uh, talk to Mr. Keith, he's here for you. Okay, thank you. Yeah, although, although, although it is contemplative, but we will be grateful if you join us every Sunday um, <laughs> at 7 p.m. Uh, yeah, I, that that's, would be lovely uh, uh, in one way, but then um, it's a little bit too long for me to commit every Sunday. Uh, I have a busy, busy business. And I've got a pr private life as well, so um, I have to fit everything into one day, you know, my own, the same 24 hours that you do. Um, I mean, this week, for instance, I've been having six, seven, eight meetings a day, right? And those are with uh, people um, uh, who are successful, uh, like myself, uh, actually, many of them far more successful, multi-millionaires. One of them is even close to becoming a billionaire. Um, so those meetings, I'm I'm helping them talk uh, by uh, having these sorts of meetings. Now, you've got to find friends. Don't be scared. There's lots of people out there. Join groups, right, and find people in a topic a hobby, an interest that you have, who talk English. Don't look, don't look for pa uh, Pakistan groups. Look for English speaking groups and join in, right? And then somebody's going to say, I like what you've said. You know, you might have typed it in and used a translator. I don't know. That's how I talk to my, my foreign friends. I have a translator. I set my page up. I'm using a computer. It doesn't work on the, on the phones and so forth. And it automatically translates when they send a message to me. But when I phone them, which I do, we talk English, right? And that is their practice to learn English. And many of my friends who knew absolutely no English, right, now can have a conversation with me, right? I haven't taught them, but I was their practice. You can do the same. Okay, guys, the meeting is going to get over. Um, let me tell you, you will join the same link. You all will join the same link. The meeting will end in five minutes. Because uh, I have basic version of Zoom. Um, the meeting lasts for 40 minutes only. So you have to just go to the link again, click it, and we'll be together again. Fine. The meeting will last for five minutes more. Okay. Um, Kate, uh, I wanted to talk to you about something like um, there are learners. They just give time to it as normally everyone does. But you know what? By giving them, by giving extra time, by working on their own skills, they can learn better. Exactly. I mean to say, they do not challenge themselves. 
No, what if that's they start what challenging themselves? Challenging like themselves that you can do, you can do. Yeah. Let me ask you guys and girls, um, what would you like me to challenge to draw me back next week? Come on, make some suggestions that you're that it will scare. If you, I was going to use some bad words, then, um, that will scare you. I want you to take. Tell me what you want to be challenged on. It's got to scare you now, but you're going to do it this week, and I'll come back next week, and I'll check whether you've done it. Because I'm yeah, going to hold I'm you so accountable. Because if you don't choose it, I'll choose it. And you won't like my choice. Come on, somebody tell me what the, what the challenge is going to be. And then I'm going to ask for a vote. Muzammal, Amal. Amal is, I think, from... Uh, Amal, where are you from? Can you just uh, unmute your mic and talk to us? Where are you from? And tell me about uh, yourself. Because... No, I'm from in Morocco. Where? Morocco. 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 Okay. Okay. Um, so, so you, uh, are are you from Pakistan uh, uh, ethnicity? No. No. So, so you're you're a Moroccan through and through. Yes. Wonderful. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Um, so how long have you been in Pakistan or are you are you not? No, no, no I live in Pakistan. I live in uh, Virginia. Right, which doesn't help me because I don't know where, where that is. But uh, um, congratulations for taking on a challenge like this. You, you, you know, well done. Thank you. My pleasure. Um, now. I'm not certain on your voice. Uh, I do apologize because on the, on microphones, it distorts voices. So are you a girl or a boy? Girl. I thought you were, but I didn't want to make the mistake because I could really upset people. Um, so uh, there's another girl showing up, you men. Come on, lads. The men, the men are running away. I don't know this time, the students are not asking, but the last time that when we had it, um, there were a number of students and they were speaking and there wasn't a single uh, moment we stopped. We just kept on talking. Uh, it's okay. And they may be having lots of, uh, they may be having things to do. Uh, okay. Uh, Mr. Rahil, we have to catch people to speak. I don't know what's the problem now. Uh, Muzamil? Uh, will you will you say hello to me? Hello, sir. Wonderful. How thank are you, you, sir? I'm very well, and thank you for braving braving it eventually. Sir, uh, I'm from Hyderabad, Pakistan. Right, right. Wonderful, wonderful. I, How long have I, you been learning English? I'm learning English in. My town, my hometown, Hyderabad. In, yeah, but in, for how long? In, uh, almost uh, just a few months. Well, your English I, is is very good. Sir, okay. Sir, I want to I want to uh, ask some questions about yeah. how to how do we improve our English? Uh, can you tell me about? Uh, how we improve uh, our english grammar and what uh, what can uh, learn english uh, as a uh, direct method or an right indirect method okay.